All right. Now we're. <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome over. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's a good way to start this video. Welcome over to Lunger's TV. Today's video is going to be about movie scenes. Really stupid movie scenes, I'm pretty sure. So this movie we're going to start out with is called Hurt Locker. I have never made it through this video because it's so cringeworthy and shitty and dumb that I couldn't make make it through it. But this is apparently a scene from the movie. It's called uh, the sniper scene in Hurt Locker. I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of funny to go over some videos with you guys today because I, I generally have a hard time making it through war movies unless they're like World War II related because those are those seem more real. But the new ones are just so so fake. There's so so it's so bad. It is so bad. If all you guys don't know who I am, I'm Robert Turkla. I make YouTube videos and. I've been shot at more than your average human being. I enjoy it. Let's watch this scene from uh, Hurt Locker, Sniper Scene from YouTube. I think it's got way too many views too. Let me look how many views that it have. 4.2 million views. So that means there's 4.2 million people. And this thing had 16,000 likes. Holy sh**. So there's people that think that this is how it is. We are at two minutes in this thing. All right. Precursor here. I can tell what's going on. Humvee by itself, that's not normal. Usually you're gonna have uh, at least four. Yeah, you're gonna have four. Haji gear. Haji gear, ah, love it. Four armed men. I love this because I don't remember any of this part because this movie is so dumb. By the way, this is EUD guys. Nothing against EUD guys, but. These guys aren't lying. So the guys that I'm looking at, this is this is real. This is not real. These guys actually look like. I mean, there's, this isn't. This is this is this is gotta be a joke, right? This part of the movie. Hey, it's hot. Hey, it's hot. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So I, you can already tell that these these aren't these aren't what they call hajis, uh, which is kind of funny. These these look like soft guys, uh, but the soft guys would have just laughed, just. They would have never done this. This is hilarious. Easy, easy. Got it! God, they make these EOD guys look like. Ooh, he, he took the guy's pistol and pointed the pistol and the M4 at him. They're gonna be British ass SAS guys, I bet you, aren't they? Okay, we just throw this out there. You got three EOD guys rolling in the middle of nowhere. You got some British SAS guys. You really think the British SAS guys are gonna throw their hands up. No, they're probably going to take their vest off and take the pants off and show them their penis. That's literally probably what they're going to do. Be like, you, you, what are you guys doing? What are you guys coming through here like you guys owe this A of off? Can I help us? Sure. Any spares? Perhaps that's what we used up on wrench. Things up on wrench. So what's going to happen? There's going to be like a shootout or something. That way this is taking too long. Guy's taking a piss. Oh, yeah, there it is. Someone got shot. Contact left. Contact left. This is, here we go. And then the dudes run. Of course they do. I saw a throw it out there as well. Um, I know, I guess they're in Iraq, but Iraq does not look like a giant, massive desert everywhere. Oh, we got 50 just rocking. This is, this is, this is. Now I know why I never finish this movie. Like mortar. I'm telling you right now, a mortar out of it lands that close to you, which I haven't done before, will rock your world. That one just shot rocks. What am I shooting at? I don't know. I love how the I love how the guys that are handcuffed are just fucking just running away. Don't worry, guys. I'm just, I'm just gonna run out of here. Oh, is he gonna shoot him? Is he? Gonna, is that what he gonna do? Let's take a guess. I love how they're all hit firing. What is going on here? Yep, he's shooting. He's shooting the guys. Yep. Oh, they're mercenaries, not sass guys. Oh, f***ing A. They come out with a damn big ass snot rocket. What is that, a Barrett? I'm gonna tell you right now, the guy that's rocking the 50 cal, oh, we just got shot in the neck. The guy that's rock, rocking the 50 cal, his ears are He had no ear pro on, he's just up there. Oh, this rocket hit, hit, hit. But he got sniped. Now it's a sniper battle. This is when it's awesome. And then there's one random building in the middle of in nowhere, Iraq. Of course there, why wouldn't there be? And there's gonna be a sniper on top of the tower. Look at him, he's barely moving. I'm gonna shoot a 50 cal round at him. <laughs> Let me see it. Send it. Send it. Oh, you hit low. Fuck. Three minutes left. 
Three meters higher. Fuck, some bitch, you missed three meters. That fing thing hit hit 15 foot. Is three feet or 15 foot? That might actually be 15 foot. How many meters are in a foot? I feel like I should know that. Oh sh He's no. dead. He's okay, dead? Now. Wow, how the f you know that that quick? This is great. He's fing dead. Don't go out there, don't go up there. Your buddy just got fing shot. Hit and hit the high ground again. Run straight back to the same spot. Don't worry, I got this. I'm getting right back on the 50 cal. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm an EOD guy with my, look at this goober. Look at this goober. He's like, gotta take my helmet off. Gotta, wait, wait one, hi, hey, hey, Hodge, wait one. Gotta take my helmet off. Gotta get behind this scope here. And then the EOD guy comes in to save the day. Look at me. Breathe easy. Oh, 850 meters. 850 meters. Oh yeah, I see that. I'm looking through the same scope. He just gave him a range. Wait one. That thing that he's holding on his face, that's not a rangefinder. That's a that's a spotting scope. That's a loophole that looked like a gold ring. Old. Oh, you hit way left, buddy. A little left. 20, 80, 52, just like 30 foot left. A little left. Hold it. Just work on your trigger squeeze. Yeah, hold. That is a loophole gold ring spotting scope. You can't get a range off that quick with that thing. Yeah, I love this. Oh, sh**. Out He's out of ammo. We need ammo. Okay, even if you could get it range with it, which you can because it's probably got mill dots or something, or maybe a TMR, probably mill dots back when this was, there's no fucking way he's getting an exact range by holding the scope like this, like a little fucking chicken. Like, oh. You can't do that. Somebody should be bouncing around anywhere. This is great. We should do more of these. <laughs> this is fun. Check out the dead guy, man. Still the dead man. Check out the dead guy. Sure, he's probably got 50 cal rounds out the asses all over him. Not jammed, you just don't know what you're doing. Uh, hip, uh. Oh, shit. There's too much blood. Yeah, there's too much blood in there. Now, blood lose that shit. Clean the blood off, man. It's making the jam. Gotta clean it, man. Well, speed the rub. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Spin rub. Spin and rub on the bullets. Get the blood off of them. They won't, they won't cycle. So spit on them. Rub on them. Spit on my bullets. They're watching this right at the same time as me. Use your camel. Use your, use your camel. Oh my god, get this blood off there. And meanwhile, Hodge is sitting over there just on the roof, just like, yeah, they're not coming back. They're not advancing on him at all. Out in the middle of nowhere, Iraq. This is great. Why are they still crawling around on the roof? Nice, he's down. Second one is out of range with a 50 cal. Why is there just one random building in the middle of nowhere? Why is there a guy laying in the dirt? Do we, can we move on to a different movie? This one sucks. We move on to a different one. All right, we're ending that one. That one is terrible. That one, by the way, that is the worst military movie I've ever started and never finished. And I'm so glad I didn't because that's terrible. Okay, so if you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comment section. Uh, we started with one of the worst military scenes ever, and now we're going to do one of the better ones I've ever watched. I've actually watched this movie twice. I actually do like this movie. I think it's really good. Going over to what I said, I like World War II based stuff a little bit more because I wasn't fighting back then. And I, I feel like it could, I, they might have bigger budgets for these movies. This is a, this is a phenomenal, grade A, one of the best scenes, because it's real, real. It's pretty real. The noises are real. The, the bullets that are flying through are real, because Americans use red tracers, and pretty much every other country uses green tracers. You're going to see green tracers in this one. You're going to see tank rounds that actually, like, it's, it's pretty real. All right, here we go. I've driven one of those before. I feel like a man now. God, these guys have bigger balls than I'll ever have. See, this looks real. There's an actual, looks like a company-based element rolling through some tanks. Like this is, now them coming online like this, probably may, might, I don't think so, but. Get your fucking, that's what I'm talking about. You tell him, Mr. Pitt. He plays a great war hero. Great, him and Tom Hanks. That's another one we need to do. Oh, here it comes. Here comes those green tracers I told you about. I have a shoot gun right there with a piece. I've only had the chance to shoot one of those one time or twice, twice, two times. And it is. It is. That is a beast. Even to this day, that, that thing is just gnarly. They actually had to slow it down. They sh they slowed down the cyclic rate of fire, the, the rate of fire in the thing because it was shooting so fast. Oh, that's a pretty good solid shot. 
See, look, there's laughing involved. Perfect. Dude, I'd be excited watching this shit. This is good. See, this looks. This is this is a good one right here. See how okay. See right there. Listen to the noises, the rounds. That was great. You guys are gonna see here in a second. See how the rounds actually skip. These big ass rounds do skip like this. That's cool. See, look, our traces are red. See? Look at this. Damn. Just send it. Just send it in there. Then another one comes out. God dang, those bills sound pretty good. I don't know. I just don't see them going online. This has to be all just for theatrical, like all the tanks online like that. But. I'm gonna tell you, ooh, okay. I tell I'll tell you a lot of rounds. A lot of the times I've seen a lot of tank rounds. Kind of like fireworks. A lot of tank rounds actually hit the ground though. Do a little bit of Yeah, this is great. This right here is. I wish I could. Like, look at that. See those rounds right there? That sounds real. When they're flying past you. I like these guys. These guys. These guys speak my my kind of language too. So. Right. We should do another one too. We should do one more. Because this is a good one. We should do another one. There's gotta be another one we can do. Let's do one more. Okay, so this is one of the movies that I wouldn't watch the movie theaters actually. It was just after I came back from Afghanistan. It was one of the worst, I'm gonna say this without sounding ignorant and rude. Uh, I know the story's real. I've actually read the book twice, but I think the movie is just so bad. This is the one of the this is one of the only movies I've ever I didn't walk out of it because the person I was with had paid for it as well, but this is one of the only movies I almost wanted to walk out of. Actually wanted to walk out of it almost, but didn't because it would have been rude. Uh, just a movie scene, so we're just going to roll with it. This is only a minute 14. It's from American Sniper. Helicopter scene. I don't remember this part. Uh, is this the one I was talking about yesterday? It is. Mm -hmm. There's one of them that's just absolutely just... Ugh. This is real I don't know if this is the one I'm talking Oh, is that a dust storm? Yeah, this is it, isn't it? That helicopter wouldn't have taken it off. Air is red like a mother. I'm ready to come home, baby. So confused. I don't remember this part of this movie. Bad air up there. You have bad air up there? No sh you have a giant uh, dust cloud. That would never happen. Fire away. Fire. I don't know what's going on. What are they what is what is it what is going on right here? Target man. I don't know. was not the right one. That wasn't the right one. I don't know what the f that was. So I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna pause it there. If you guys would like to watch another one, let me know in the comment section below. I w there's some scenes from that movie that I was just watching, but that wasn't the right one that I was talking about. I I'll tell you right now that that bird would have never went off by itself. For one, it was just one. That was flying pairs of two at least. And number two, the air was red as f I mean, there's, there's not, you're not gonna have something flying when there's an absolute massive dust storm coming out. Uh, that was kind of strange. I mean, that wasn't the one I was looking for, but that is a strange part of the, the movie. So if you guys would like to watch one of these again, we'll uh, probably do one even if you don't want to. So hope you guys had a good time over here on Lunkers TV. I'll catch you guys in another episode. And hopefully you subscribe. If you don't, f off. See you later. <laughs>